I'm Susanna and I'm partnering with The Kitchen Is My Playground to bring you another great recipe. Today we are making no-bake banana split cake. We're going to get started with some butter that I've melted on the stove. And we just want to pour this into a bowl with some graham cracker crumbs. This is going to be the base of our cake. And I just um, blended up the graham cracker crumbs in my food processor. But you can always do that in a Ziploc bag with a rolling pin as well. Works very effectively. Pretty much just as easy, just as quick. So we want to blend all of this together. Once that looks pretty well coated, you're going to go ahead and place it in a 9 by 13 inch dish. Dump it all in there and then you can spread it out nice and even. Crust is placed in here. I'm going to make a little more room for myself here and just slide this out of the way for a moment. Now here's a really good part of this. We are going to blend together more butter. Can never have enough, right? And some cream cheese, and I've just set this out to let it soften for a bit. Makes it a lot easier to blend. sugar and just a little pinch of salt. You want to take your mixer, blend this up until it's nice and fluffy. This will take about three to four minutes and then you can spread it over the top of your graham cracker. Crust. Now our cream cheese, butter, and sugar mixture is all nice and fluffy just like a homemade frosting. That means it is ready to go on our graham cracker crust. So you're just going to smooth this out on here. all spread out nice and even on our graham cracker crust and we are going to begin work on the next layer here. For this next layer you just want to slice four bananas and then just lay them out on that cream cheese topping. We have all of those banana slices layered, everything is ready for our next layer of dessert and we are just going to add some crushed pineapple to the top of this next and then once you've added that just spread it out so it's nice and even too. We drain this really well. We don't want a lot of juice soaking out the dessert. Spread out the crushed pineapple. For our next layer, we've got some Cool Whip to go on top. Nice and refreshing. If Cool Whip doesn't say a summertime dessert, I don't know what does. <laughs> always, always on a good summer dessert that you don't have to turn the oven or the stove on for, right? Butter you can melt in the microwave, so that doesn't count. I don't know about the viewers, but um, I live more in the south and it's already pretty warm. A lot of days are already kind of humid and it's really nice to have a dessert that doesn't require heating up your kitchen. And it chills in the fridge so it's nice and cool and refreshing too when you get to enjoy it. As with everything else, we're just going to spread the Cool Whip out. Here are the final two additions to our dessert. We've got some chopped pecans. Sprinkle those evenly across the top. And maraschino cherries for the final piece of this dessert. Adds a nice pop of color on top too. And I mean, what is banana split without a cherry on top? Beautiful, look at that perfect dessert. You've got some nice layers in here. Your graham cracker crust, that cream cheese, butter, sugar layer, like that frosting layer. Uh, bananas, crushed pineapple Cool Whip, and then the cherries and pecans on top. That is the perfect summer dessert, you guys. So we're going to stick this in the fridge, let it chill for a couple of hours before you eat it. You want everything to set up nice and firm, and then your dessert is ready to go. I'll see y'all next time.